Hi there, it's Nick and Hi from Martin. And today we're going to talk, we're going to do an assessment of 14 Leicester Avenue in Doncaster. Now um, it's we got a slight issue with this, which is irritating, but anyway, I think we can get away with it as it were. So what's happened here is that the viewer person messed up and the estate agent thinks we visited the site. So just to explain how this all works with viewings, with offers, should I say, the agent will only really accept an offer if there's been a viewing. The agent thinks there's been a viewing. Now, on the whole, the the point about viewing is to satisfy an agent requirement, which is, yes, somebody viewed the property on your behalf and therefore, you know, if there's an offer, it's acceptable. From our point of view, it's more to do with the condition assessment and whether the property is in good condition or not. Now, condition assessment is very important for properties that are in poor condition, but this property is not really in poor condition. It's kind of the opposite. And therefore, today we're going to do the assessment. Hopefully, we're going to client's going to make an offer and we can all get on with it because it is really a nice property. And uh, um, we can do again viewing after if the offer is accepted. Yes, exactly. Uh, we could do that. In any event, there would be a survey done and that would tell us a lot about the property. Anyway, let's get into it. So here we go. There's uh, also maybe, uh, mm -hmm. maybe also we can send our builder to check the property. Yeah, actually, that's a very good point. This property doesn't need much work, though. It's in really nice condition. Now, a couple of things that you probably can't tell from the YouTube video, but these are quite high resolution pictures, which I'm relieved about. And that means we can really get up close and see what's going on. All right, it's stucco fronted. Now, when, when you look along the road, every X number of houses, there's a stucco fronted house. Now, I don't know if this is local authority or not, Maybe you could tell me. I don't think it's ex-local. I'd be no, surprised if it was. No, but because this, this type of house is not. This property has had a new roof. It's in really good condition. It's had a lot of interest. So 37 viewings and five offers, which is kind of proportionately, it's not that many offers, but it's a different market to Manchester. And therefore, it's it's all quite buoyant, let's say. Now, there are a few telltale signs that this property has been renovated extensively. There's a socket and that is way above the ground. And that meets, there's another couple there that meets modern building rigs. So the wiring has been redone throughout. It's also had new down lighters and so on. This and this extension is really very impressive in my view. It's a uh, beautifully done. They've got the bifold doors system, which is lovely. So you get this really nice kind of flow between the interior and the exterior of the house. You can see there they've got an island unit with a an induction hob there. It's very, very nicely done. Nice kitchen. Really nice doors. Yeah. The, oh, you mean the, the white lacquer doors on the kitchen? And it's the ones without the handles. Lovely. Again, it's just a, uh, there you go. The plugs are in the right spot. Yeah, it's really beautifully done. And I think it's worth paying good money for this one, just from a condition point of view. Doncaster, from a capital growth point of view, is OK as well. But look at that. What a nice garden. Really beautifully done, actually. Yeah, this is uh, if, perfect property for owner occupiers and yeah. living here. And of course, the scenario here, as I understand it, is that it would be purchased uh, as an owner occupier property, but let out in the meantime, but purchased as one. It's a very handsome house. And uh, as you see, it's just beautifully done. Upstairs bedrooms, again, all done. Look at that. Look at those really nice. Uh, fitted wardrobes. But everything is modern. And the good thing about this from just a 
point of view of assessment is that we have lots of pictures, so it's very easy for us to just see what's going on condition and the pictures are high res, so I'm very confident about condition. And you on can see the carpets are in good quality, not the cheapest one. Yeah. They are that they're, they're, they're a nice kind of gray as well and. Yep, they're kind of upper mid range carpets, so really. Yeah, they're nice carpets. There are lots of little telltale signs that a carpet is decent. It's nice, nicely stretched. There are no rocks in it and uh, we'll see that it's got underlay, I'm sure. OK, again, nicely done. Brand new bathroom. They must have spent at least 60 to 70 thousand pounds on this house. I would have thought maybe 60 ish. If you think about the extension, which is a big thing, you've got the bathroom, you've got the kitchen. Like a full renovation without the extension is 25,000, let's say for for not quite as good as this. So 30,000 if you could spend up now, for example, the doors are solid wood panel doors. They're really nice and that's like 250 pounds a door. It adds up quickly. It's just very well done. One of the bedrooms is this is not a living room. This is the living room. It's very nicely done. It's uh, unusually nice, this house. And if I was downsizing with my wife and all of that, and it was like, OK, okay let's go and live in Doncaster. Uh, you know, I, uh, I could buy 10 of these houses with our place, maybe 12. And this but property, that, no, not 10. Sorry. Yeah, and I want to add that this property not was renovated. 10. Uh, after 2014, and I know yes. this just because the EPC was made in 2014, and mm. then it was E. So, but now it's cannot, it's not possible to be E. So, yeah, I think I think it's a great house. I, I, yeah, I was just uh, a little chuckle to myself. It's like beautifully and, done. Yeah, this is it was, just yeah. And it was 83 meters squares, but plus extension now it's much larger. Mm, it's a really nice house. I really like it. I could live in a house like this quite comfortably. I think it's just beautifully done. Now let's have a look at the just the parking and all that. Parking is good. There's off street parking, plus you've got allocated parking as well, which is just really very nice. Um, yeah, it's just really good. It's quite a busy road. But it turns out this is a 20 mile an hour road. So how do I know that? Because I saw a 20 mile an hour sign somewhere on this when I was looking at the street view earlier. It might be 30 miles an hour, but I seem to remember seeing 20 miles an hour on this road. I will check. Thanks, Martin. But very nice. Yes, very nice 20. garden. Yeah. 20 in the street view, you can see. Um, very up to seven tons of. Yeah, great. Uh, yes. Very nice, quiet street, big boulevard. You may or may not like that. I, I, I'm indifferent. The fact is, it's a slow road, and that's what really counts. There is a fire station nearby, but generally, the way it works with these is because they're in and out of the fire station so often, they don't ring their, they don't wail their sirens because they would just destroy, really be very unpleasant for people nearby. So they just like drive and then when they hit traffic then they run their sirens that's typically how it works but they're not going to hit traffic on this road because it's very quiet and they're probably going to go going to go out this way anyway because this way just leads into the suburbs all right let's have a look at the capital growth and all of that good stuff and the demographics are really nice uh yeah very nice demographics it's you can see here on this end, the further this way you go, the less good it gets, but this way it's better. You're on the right side of the road, the good side, basically. So so this area all here, it's all good. And lots of AB, 19%. That's unusually high considering. And yeah, because quite a lot you of private a, rented as well. Yeah, because you have a lot of like nicest houses because this stock of house is like just mixture. You have a good house and bad house. Mm -hmm. Mm. All like bad houses, not in the, in the I mean, not this type of they're selling up to 150, 160. And you have a, houses which are really great, like this one, and they're going up to 250 almost. So, 
Yeah, it's very attractive. And if we look at capital growth, it's a bit difficult to judge this really because there's a lot of mix in the area. But I would say this this area is indicative and it's gone up a lot recently. So in 21, it grew 17 percent. We'll have a look at the higher level data in a second. Yeah, it's buoyant, this area. And I know why, because it's a good area. So a lot of growth recently and five year growth for four percent. That's still quite solid and it's an area on its way up. Crashed a bit heavily last time. Still loads of headroom to the 2007 highs when it comes when you inflation adjust. So real capital growth, 18 percent below the 2007 high. Very nice. I, I, to me, Doncaster is one of those areas where I, it's not a capital growth monster like, say, Manchester is, but it's a very pleasant town with a good local economy, good housing stock, good demographics. Just all together, I, I like Doncaster quite a lot. OK, Martin, over to you. So I will share my screen. So Thanks. first, um, about the location is 83, I mean the uh, size 83 and between 30s and 50s, but this is without extension. Um, because APC is in 2014 made, so this means because it's 10 um, <coughs> years, so that's why I know that it's more than 83 meters square because of the extension, plus the rooms look large. So basically, EPC now may be A7B. I'm not sure, but I think it's C for sure because Definitely there was C. talk. Yeah, mm. because there was talking like uh, mm, internal or external wall insulation you need to do, do, and you need to floor insulation, low lighting energy, heating control, replacement. So it'll have boiler. the it'll have the low lighting, the heating controls, probably a new boiler already. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I think it's really easy to achieve. achieve C. Uh, yeah. Basically, we got to replace everything in the house and the coal mining issue. So this is the properties here. It's so far away. And anyway, in Doncaster, you don't have any issues with coal minings. Just few areas like here, here and there. And about the well, um, there is very low risk about the surface water. So, so basically, this is no risky property. About the location, the property exactly is here. This one here. I will just pull. Bit better. So uh, the location is, uh, as you can see, it's really nice. You have like a, you're really like a, a main road, really good access. You're close to the hospital, and also you have a lot of small store on this street. So and you have a schools, and you have a, uh, some large super. It's not supermarket it's building material storage a store, but it's okay. And you have a lot of, you have a school here, a lot of schools, and you have a lot of stuff here, so commercials. So basically, and it's really, really, really close to the Doncaster City Center. So if you want to go to the, let's say, to the train, the main train stop, you need like 18 minutes by some by transport, or with the car, is eight minutes only. Even if you want to just go by walking, it's 35 minutes. So like it's really close to the city center. And, uh, and you have a lot of like uh, you have a golf course as uh, the green space here a lot of green space if you want to go to run it's a so. horse racing course by the way yeah so you got yeah. the golf course inside the horse racing course yeah yeah, yeah. and also you have like um green space here in front of the school so basically everything but is it's that up. yeah that huge park nearby yeah. anyway yeah. it's lovely you, you isn't have it? you have parking everywhere you have a huge garden really nice garden like everything looks I'm not say perfect, but really nice. Even as you can see, the people which build like uh, outside houses, like a working room or something, you you can even build that as well if you want to. And this property should be a freehold, and the last sale is 2008 for 105k. And when I try to find the photos, and it looks like the all the um, it's the same photos because they don't have from 2008 photos. And I try to find like. Uh, one cost of miles and to find like a property similar and it's like it's, re it's really hard because it's four beds and I'm trying to find a three beds property. <coughs> <coughs> so 
and trying to find a three bed property. It was really similar, but it doesn't really have in the last three years. Like this is one similar. And you can see like it's really modern, really nice. Our property is in better condition, I can say, but it's also a good one. Um, yeah, I think these properties are really good for living. Um, uh, when we go with the comparables for similar property, you can see it go up to 250, 180, and I will just dig out the photos so we can see them. A floor plan, you can see it's it have loft room, it have basement, it have large, so but it's not in the best condition as our property, but it's still good condition. This is the basement. This is also a nice property, but our property is in better condition. This okay. 140, this 180, but the, the issue is with there is not similar type of properties, large properties is this. Here is one, but it's not the same, but it's really similar. It's going for 200. I OK, so the floor plan is, uh, let's say, similar, not the same, but similar. So, right. But it's really nice. So this is to 10. All right, so let's put a number on it. How much do you think it's worth? <sighs> because and what about the rental income as well? We need to do that. And if you go by highest. I think um, eight seven five. Okay. Because usually this kind of property people don't rent out. Maybe it will rent for more. Yeah. Well, let's just do some numbers on that. And I think it will go up to nine hundred. Okay. So let's call it two hundred thousand, just on the basis of like if you want it, you push for it, and we say renovation probably yeah. two thousand. Maximum. I'm just using that as a figure. 900 on the rent. I think it will run 900 because people will love. It. They will fight for this property. Very nice rent. house. Peak growth, 12%. How much will it crash? Maybe the same. So the point being that at this cycle phase in the property cycle, what what you're doing is you're aiming to get in now before winner's curse, i.e. market keeps going up, but market will crash and then be money up as it were so that you're nominally uh, in a good place and I'm uh, doing a big video all about this kind of stuff here which I'll share separately but anyway 5.3 5.4 that's reasonable it's enough for it to break even for a while as buy to let and then and then obviously if it becomes owner occupier it becomes a lovely house to occupy all right let's score it then and condition, condition. Mm, 4.7. Oh, that's yeah. I. Uh, it's really nice, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, uh, so what we're doing in this case is we're saying it's in beautiful condition. It's not that it's perfect. It might not be perfect, but it's beautifully done. It's got a wonderful rear. Um, rear uh, family room with the living room adjacent to it. It's just really, really, really well done. Really nicely set out lay, uh, floor plan. Location, Martin? It's really central, it's 4.3, really nice location in Doncaster. Area, good area. Yeah. What's it going to be? 4.2, 4.3. going to score well this. Crime Fine. is really good. Four, yeah, but nine. the issue with this will be the capital growth and yield. Yeah, demographics excellent. Uh, 4.2 actually, because they are very good around there. Capital growth, eh, 3.8, I would say, and yield. Same, 3.7 maybe. But 5.4 it will be if you go with 200, but I think you need to bit harder for this one. Yeah, so this is a story of, of a absolutely lovely house in a lovely spot in an area that's not so strong but actually Doncaster will probably do quite well over the next couple of years the issue is there's a property crash coming at some point and things will reverse a bit but 
it just as a nice house, nice place to live, nice place to rent out. It's very, very good. Yeah. All right. So sorry. Um, uh, so what's your final sort of summary here? Yeah, um, uh, as I know from the agent uh, notes, like uh, uh, everything is more than 195 the offer, so you need to go up to 200 to be. Yeah, yeah, uh, I think five you or six, have... off six offers already, and 30, 27 viewings. So I'm reading the comments, so yeah, they, were this... they were planning to close tomorrow. So if you stand 200, I think you will have chance to win it. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's too much but so nice done yeah exactly because, because uh for not so much done they so beautiful done properties they will go in this way for 170. it's so rare to have such a good floor plan yeah nice you know, floor the, plan it's so um, well done basically i don't see any like a uh, issue so i really like it Mm, me really too. Do. There's so, no compromise to speak of. It's just really tight all together. Yeah, if you it's really well done, especially if you plan to live in this property, as I know that you want to. So it's a really lovely property. I think it's hard to find better. So, maybe. Mm. so I mean, in this price range is really nice house. So yeah, and if you want to live in Donk, so this is a like really good location. Everything's close by. You have. You have private parking, you have buses around, you have local small markets around. So the demographics are good, schools are pretty okay, and if you have huge hospital, it's not that far away. So like everything is called, you have green space around. So yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice, nice location, really, really nice house and a garden. So yeah. I like, I, I, I don't want to say love, but I really like the property. So. Great, and no flood risk, no mining no, risk. No, 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 no risk. Okay. The, the only risk is what we didn't have the viewer. The viewer didn't show up. But anyway, if you if your offer is accepted, we will I think we will send the con, uh, our builder, or we gonna send. Uh, yeah, I think we would ask the builder to go over. Yeah, and, and he will check that later. Yeah, and also we, we can pay him like forty five for the viewing again, but doesn't matter. We will uh, give that money back after the completion date so mm. yeah i think it's a really lovely house and um, 200 if you take it maybe a little bit overpay but really nice house so mm. yeah and this property is it's not about the uh, yield and maybe in the yield but it's about the construction the quality of the house and really nice done so really lovely yeah and if i, a lot of if, my, if I my, was in the market for this like in my circumstances, I'm not quite ready to buy yet, but I would be all over this property. I think it's so outstanding, such a nice house. And yeah, no. uh, it's unusual to see such a d attractive yeah. property. Just so yeah. well done. Yeah, even if you want to send a, you buy it a portfolio or you want for own use or, mm. but only one house buying and it just one buy to let them, maybe it's not the best options because of the yield. But if you plan to live there, as we know you do, it's perfect, so. Mm. All right then, thank you very much. Thank you.